Hi everybody, welcome back to Movie Related. Well, the movie Nobody actually hit theaters. It wasn't available to stream, but we don't have theaters in Canada right now, so we couldn't go see it. But it finally popped on Friday that we're allowed to rent it and stream it. So we did, and uh, we got some thoughts coming up right after this. Nobody. Paul, quick rundown. Okay, starring Bob Odenkirk, and you'll know him from Better Call Saul. He's a lawyer on Breaking Bad. Yep. Okay, uh, up to this point, I don't know of anything else he's been in, no, but maybe no. he's been in a bunch of stuff. Not much. No. So you got this guy just living life. He has a family, uh, white picket fence kind of thing. Every morning, same thing. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, repeat. Like, just the average guy. S same yep. routine. He basically is just going through life no joy everything routine and then there's a home invasion and uh something happens like you you get the idea that he's a little bit more than what he seems he's a little frustrated but he stops himself yeah. from taking out the bad guys and you wonder why and he had the perfect opportunity the, yeah. ba the bad guy's back was turned he had a golf club he could have just bam no you get the impression that maybe he was just scared. Maybe he froze. I didn't at, think that. At the, at the beginning, we looked at the why is he freezing like this. But it does explain it later on why he didn't do it. Like, you could say that, well, his, his son jumped in and, and got the jump on the bad guys. Maybe he's, he's saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want my family to get hurt, so I'm not going to progress this. Mm -hmm. You know, let's just give them what they want so they can leave. Yeah. And all the neighbors and all the cops and everything that are like... After after this whole home invasion, they're all like, "Well, if it was my family, I'd have you know, I'd yeah. have taken care his of business." His son, his son looks at him differently now, all disappointed that dad, you had the drop on him and you you wussed out. Yeah, you know, and so now no every, respect. Every day he has to deal with looking at his son who doesn't respect him anymore. Then he gets on a bus, and something pops out of him. Well, says, well, well, no, no, he goes to the home invasion. First. There was yeah, there was there he, was some stuff that happened before. Them okay, so like John Wick, where they killed his dog, in this one. Kitty they, cat bracelet. They took his kitty cat bracelet. At from least his, you think they did. From and, so, and he goes out to get it. <laughs> right. So that's the story. This is the best John Wick 4 rendition that I could have watched. I, I really enjoyed this movie. Ex except he's not a professional hitman. He's that person that goes in to end everything. Right. He's, they called him the auditor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And he just because he just goes in and cleans everything up. He's the person you never want to show up. Oh, just just another callback to uh, John Wick. Apparently, the the song that they played in the trailer of of Wick or something like that was the same as in this one. Like they oh, shared. Right? Yeah, they did. Well, a I think link. I think as one of the writers is the same writer. Oh, I didn't know. That. Yeah, yeah. As, as as John Wick. Well, while we're on the topic of sound. The songs they play in a lot of the action scenes and everything, and even the the cut the montage scenes of him doing his everyday life, that's cut, 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 cut. It works. Somebody knew how to pick music yeah. in this movie compared to some of the other movies we've watched lately, like Wonder Woman 84, horrible soundtrack, horrible movie. Uh, this... The Snyder Cut. <laughs> the Snyder Cut, really bad opera. Uh, blah. But this one, it worked exactly. You knew what... Oh, you know what? That matches perfectly with the scene. It was really well done. Even even in the beginning when they were doing the uh, like the repetitive average guy day after day, same thing, I was into it. There was something about this show that every single second that it was playing had me interested in what was going on. Yeah, and yeah. we have not seen that kind of engagement in a movie in a long time. Yeah, now the funny part about this guy's character, he is some sort of hit, you know, professional killer but he doesn't look like one he doesn't look no, like not, john wick he's not rich yeah john john wick comes into a room and you go oh okay it's keanu reeves yeah i'm paying attention he comes in and everyone goes who's this guy and he gets his ass kicked a lot of times yeah, he was rusty but he, he hadn't done it in but 10 he, years he doesn't stop yeah you can just... stab him he keeps coming at you it doesn't matter right yeah and it's 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 funny the level of self-assuredness he has yeah you know, there might be seven of those guys, and they're all bigger than me, and they could throw me through a window and stab me, 
but I'm going to go back in there yeah. and finish them off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and he does that a couple of times in the in the movie and it was great. It was wonderful. So I I was going to come in here and I was going to say uh that this was on my list of perfect movies with Back to the Future. Ooh. Okay. okay. Ooh. I can't do that because I was a little disappointed in the Home Alone Rambo 5 ending where they the set traps. they set the traps the bad guys come in they take him out you know this is by no means a formula that has not been done before like right. th this is a a, a, but a, it, a retelling it, of the same story we've seen a hundred times but it definitely had its own twist to it but it works yeah yeah there another another thing that i was disappointed in was i was hoping to see more of the, an adoration from the son to the dad after he goes wow my dad isn't actually lame you know because that's what started him on this journey in the first place so to get the respect from his son, I thought missing that was a little bit of a flaw. Right. However, speaking of dads, we have and Back to the Future. And Back to the Future. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, the father in this, he looks like he's this decrepit old this man and Doc everything Brown. like this, and he gets a he gets a phone call saying, so "Yeah, it it went it escalated more than I thought it was going to be," and he just turns to this camera, breaks the fourth wall, and has this smile on his face, and you're going. Oh, is he happy that his son's doing that? But then the bad guys show up at his house, and he kicks ass yeah. <laughs> without, in that Without scene. barely moving. Without any, you know, all of a sudden the bad guy's, ha, 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 and there's a shotgun, and there's, like, the, it was so well done. So, okay, so Christopher Lloyd was the yeah. dad. Did you know that Michael Ironside is in this movie? Yeah, yeah, I saw it on the credits. I didn't, I didn't notice him in the movie, I, but... <laughs> I scrolled through the whole movie to find him. You know who he was? Who? The guy he bought the business off of. Okay. Oh, really? The big guy, almost unrecognizable, but when you're looking, it's the eyes you could see it. Yeah. Yeah. And so. uh, uh, Black Jean Luc Picard is in this. The barber. Oh, really? Oh my mm. God, he could be Jean Luc Picard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Well, maybe in the next reboot of Star Trek. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they're doing everything I'd watch else. It. I'd watch it. <laughs> so as you can see. We're kind of fans of this movie. I really enjoyed it. I'd, I'd watch it again. Yeah, yeah. It was. I was. I wish we could have saw it in theaters. I think we would have had a real good time in the theater to see this as well. But this is not a movie you had to see in theaters. This wasn't a big blockbuster no. visual effects kind of thing. This was an okay movie to watch on your TV at home. I think this is definitely a dude food, though. Like. I think most guys will like this. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe some women. Some will women. Like this. On average, I think there's going to be a lot of gore and fighting in this. And uh, if you're into that, it doesn't you, matter what sex you are. If you liked like, uh, if you like John Wick, you're going to like. Yeah, this. John Wick. This is this is what you want to watch. League, uh, what, Atomic Blonde movies like that. You're going to like this mm -hmm. movie. Okay. What do you give it? I'm going to give it a nine. Oof. Oof. A nine. That's pretty high. For me, that's high. I was yeah. I was giving it. I was giving it an eight, eight and a half. See, I'm at eight. I thought this was a really well done movie. A couple little things, but not much major. And I came out of it saying, I'm really glad I watched it, and I may watch it again in the future. And they've left it open for a sequel. So yeah. So um yeah. I uh, so there you go. Very high marks for for this kind of movie. I give it a nine. Well, if we're comparing it to. All the movies the, in the last two years. The last one we just watched, Thunder Force. <laughs> Thunder Force. Was, it's, in a tw it's a 12. I was actually so. wondering, was I just like uh, out of it for the last half of my life thinking that there were good movies? Maybe even getting too old to enjoy movies? You, you because are, I haven't you seen You are anything, bitter. Right? You are a bitter person when it comes but, to movies. <laughs> but this rejuvenated my love of movies. Yay! There you go. All right. So that's it. Three yeses from us to take it, check in nobody. It's available now on, on streaming services uh, to rent. I highly recommend if you haven't, watching If you it. weren't one of the lucky people that were able to see it in theaters, please check it out. If it sounds like your kind of movie, if you like John Wick, you will like this movie. And it has some twists in it that are just fun. And that's what made it really good. Let us know in the comments down below if you get a chance to watch it. What do you think? And until next time, see you on the channel.